How do we get supports to work? They're either too loose and leave a really nasty overhang or way too tight and you can never pull the supports off. Let's get stuck into it. First of all, if we use the default normal support here, we get a total of 792 grams of filament that we use. Now let's see what happens if we change it to tree. Now with slim tree supports, we have a total of 716 grams of filament used. So it's a difference of 76 grams, that's huge. And you can see there's much less material being used here. The other thing to consider is in these branch sections here, there's a weak point and the supports are more likely to break off. So you wanna have your support wall loops up as high as possible, which is only two at the moment. You used to be able to do multiple. So because you can only do two support wall loops in the latest version of Orca Slicer, you can put in a base pattern. Rectilinear base pattern is what I like, 10 millimeter spacing. And this is what that looks like. You can see that reinforcement inside the actual support that makes it much stronger. Now, the most important factor when it comes to supports is this dark green right here. That's called the support interface. I've got two interface layers so that they sort of overlap and the spacing is 0.5. I've had the best luck with 0.5 spacing. So there's 0.5 between these sections here. This distance here is the one that you need to just experiment and play around with. Really depends on your computer the way it's slicing and your printer and the combination of the two and the filament. So I'd start with 0.18 and go all the way up to 0.24 in 0.02 increments and see which one works the best. And the other setting that's important is the max bridge length. That's the bridge length between the very end of the branches. I've got it set to two, which is pretty small so that the support interface isn't hanging in thin air. So if we change this to five, we get a larger spacing at the top of our branches. The section that we're concentrating on is this right here, this overhang. And if we see how that looks in slice mode, we can actually see the distance between the support and the object itself. So 0.21, so you can see there's one layer distance between the support and the object.